I'm Peggy Peck, MedPage Today, reporting from the RSNA in Chicago. Gamma-specific breast imaging is an FDA-approved modality currently used in about 50 centers in the United States. Here we hear a report of its efficacy in, in identifying second lesions in women who have already been diagnosed with at least one lesion. This is a wonderful example of chance favors the prepared mind. This approach to breast cancer diagnosis uses a very safe radio tracer that's been used for decades to image the heart. And during examination of the heart, some astute physicians said, why is it that some women have this uptake in their breast? And as it turns out, there's a great deal of similarity between cardiac cells and cancer cells in that both of them are metabolically active and both of them have increased blood flow. And as a result of this, this entire uh, research uh, uh, course started out. 85 to 90 percent of breast cancers are mammographically visible, but 10 to 15 percent of breast cancers are not. And in fact, in women with dense breasts, 35 percent of breast cancers are not mammographically visible. During the BSGI examination, a very safe radio tracer, technetium sestamibi, is injected into the arm, in the vein in the arm. It's a very safe tracer that's been used for decades. The examination is done with the patient sitting, and it's actually done in the breast imaging center and requires no additional shielding and uses a very low dose radio tracer. The study takes about 40 minutes to complete, and the, the, the images can be read immediately afterwards. The principle is that the tracer is taken up proportional to blood flow and metabolic activity within the tissues, which is much higher in the breast cancer than it is in the normal surrounding breast tissue. We wanted to know how breast-specific gamma imaging can help us in detecting additional cancers in women with one breast cancer. And that was the purpose of the study, which we'll, we will be reporting this afternoon. In our study, all women were imaged with the Dillon 6800 camera, the high-resolution breast-specific gamma camera, comfortably in a seated position. The images were obtained in the same projections as we obtained mammograms, and that allows us to do correlative imaging. Breast-specific gamma imaging uh, images were additional lesions were considered additional if they were in the opposite breast of the cancer that was known, in a different part of the breast than the known cancer, or in the same quadrant of the breast but in a different focus from the cancer that we knew about before we imaged the patients. We're reporting on 159 women who were aged 29 to 93 with one biopsy proven cancer. 39% of the women were premenopausal, 61% were postmenopausal. 12% had a personal history of breast cancer, 43% had breast cancer in a first degree relative, and 5% the family history wasn't known because they were adopted. Interestingly, 73% of the women in this study had dense breasts. In our study, 56 additional areas of abnormality were detected with breast specific gamma imaging. 45 of the 56, or 80%, underwent biopsy. Three did not because they had decided to have bilateral prophylactic mastectomy, and eight decided to, follow, uh, to have follow-up. 14 of the 45 biopsied lesions, or 29, that underwent biopsy were malignant. 14 of the 56 uh, lesions that were identified, or 25%, were malignant. And of women who had a biopsy-proven breast cancer, breast-specific gamma imaging detected an additional cancer in 9% of women. It's important to realize that prior to this examination, there was no indication at all that there was a second cancer in that woman. So, an imaging modality that appears to be cost-effective, comfortable for the woman, and may in fact be helpful in guiding treatment. At RSNA in Chicago, I'm Peggy Peck, MedPage Today.